reading from March 28th, entitled, God is with His People. The children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. Exodus chapter 31, verses 16 and 17. We do not study the scriptures as much as we should. Instead of spending our time in studying the various themes of the day, we need to devote that time to the study of the scriptures. We want to come on our knees before God with our Bibles and ask for wisdom from God to comprehend the treasures of truth. We cannot have root in ourselves unless we do this, for everything is to be shaken that can be shaken. Satan is watching, that he may find the mind in an unguarded moment and so get possession of it. We do not want to be ignorant of his devices, neither do we want to be overpowered by his devices. He is pleased with the pictures that represent him as having horns and hooves, for he has intelligence. He was once an angel of light. Those who trust in their intelligence, he will make believe that they can correct the scriptures. You are going to meet this infidelity in high places. You need the Holy Spirit of God, the divine power, to cooperate with you to discern the trap that the devil is preparing and escape it. He is going to lead the religious world captive. See 2 Thessalonians 2, verse 11. How dare they to lay their sacrilegious hands upon the Scriptures? We must bring the Sabbath of the Lord to the front. It is so plain and so decided. It is a sign between the children of God and the children of the world. We do not know how soon we shall be singled out as not being law-abiding citizens, because the prince of the power of the air is getting possession of the minds of men. We can choose between obeying the powers that be and dishonoring God, or disobeying the powers that be and honoring God. If we obey God, His Holy Spirit is resting upon us, and we are not fighting with our own assertions, but with, It is written. All we have to do is to go back to the fourth commandment. Read the testimony of Jesus Christ that not even a little dot was to be altered, but it is just as written by the finger of God on the tables of stone. We should love the truth because it is truth. It makes every difference whether we are on God's side of the question or not. You may be summoned to the courts and in these emergencies think on the Savior's promise I am there. We cannot stand on sliding sand, but we can on Christ Jesus. And we can stand there, though the whole world may be arrayed against us. God has covenanted, and He will be with His people. Taken from Manuscript 11, dated March 28, 1893, entitled, Search the Scriptures.